Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Rosie. In this video, I will give you an introduction to Windows User Mode and Kernel Mode. In this series of videos, we will discuss some fundamental concepts about the Windows operating system that will be useful in malware reverse engineering and vulnerability research. Windows OS functions in two modes, the User Mode and Kernel Mode. User applications run in the user mode. This includes applications like Paint, Word, web browsers, services like FTP and SSH, features like Windows Subsystem for Linux, and some system processes like the Session Manager. Critical operating system applications run in the kernel mode. This includes the main OS kernel, Programs responsible for core functionality like process and thread management, memory management and networking. System drivers. And programs responsible for system-wide graphics. Programs running in kernel mode have higher privileges than programs running in user mode. Kernel mode programs have unrestricted access to all system resources. User mode programs are given privileges required for their functioning. A program running in user mode uses system calls to switch to kernel mode. I'll tell you about a scenario where Windows switches between these two operating modes. Here is a text file. I am logged in as user 10. I want to open this file and read it. Currently, the OS is functioning in user mode. When I double click this file to view its contents, Windows would send out some system calls to drivers operating in kernel mode and prompt them to read the file from the hard disk. As the file is being read from the hard disk, Windows switches to and functions in kernel mode. Once the read operation is complete, it switches back to user mode. All this happens in the background without the user noticing. Windows uses special APIs to interoperate between both modes. Are you wondering why we need to know about Windows operating modes for malware reverse engineering? Most malware begins to execute in user mode. Using APIs, it may attempt to switch to kernel mode to gain access to the entire system. Reversing the sample would help detect the use of those APIs. Some malicious samples, like rootkits, are designed to operate entirely in the kernel mode. Such malware would give an adversary complete access to the system. When a reverse engineer is aware of the different OS operating modes and how programs behave in these modes, it would help to understand malicious code better. User mode and kernel mode are also referred to as user land and kernel land, respectively. I hope you have a good idea now about the operating modes of Windows. Stay tuned to our channel for more videos on Windows internals. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!